Hi everyone, my name is Melissa Bender and I have a fantastic quick workout for you today. So one round of today's workout will only take 16 minutes. For today's workout, I am going to be using some equipment. So I have a little variety of dumbbells next to me. I have 15 pound dumbbells, 12 pound dumbbells, and I forget what the other one is. It's either five or seven pounds, but it's lighter um, for a couple of the arm moves. You can use uh, one dumbbell weight throughout if you ever need to put it down uh, and switch to body weight. That's totally fine. It's fine to modify however you need to, as long as it is challenging you, it is working at, at building strength for you, okay? So don't be afraid to modify. Um, before we get started, if you haven't subscribed yet and you like getting free workouts, click that little bell, ring the bell so you can subscribe and keep getting free workouts from us. Um, and I would love to know if you have a favorite exercise from today's workout and what exercise you find most challenging. So let me know that in the comments. Okay guys, we have interval timer set for 16 rounds, 50 seconds max reps, 10 seconds of rest between exercises. We're gonna get started in just a second, just to let you know. First exercise is a squat and punch. So you can do this with dumbbells holding the squat or you can do it with body weight, okay? If you need to come up at all, you can, but get right back into that squat as soon as you can. I'm gonna use my lighter dumbbells for this one, so let's get started and go right into it. Okay. So squat, punching, getting a little twist in from the core, bring it back in. You can sink into that squat a little bit more if you can. I did this workout yesterday, so my thighs are feeling this burn already. Breathe. Get in there, guys. Keep going. Breathe through it. You can make it to the end. Five seconds. Good job. Next, we're going to do Frogger to catcher, so I'm gonna grab a heavier weight. What we're gonna do is start in plank, low impact is step, step, come into that catcher position. Higher impact, you can jump and jump. Breathe. Doing great, guys. Push through it. Last few seconds, you can make it. Okay, next we're gonna have a side lunge squeeze. So feet are gonna go really wide. The weight is gonna come in front of us. We're gonna go all to one side, but reaching back like there's a seat, squeeze it up. So as you reach back, butt is reaching toward the wall behind you, back stays flat. Breathe through it and make sure you squeeze on that lift getting those glutes involved. Good job, guys. You're doing great. Keep up the good work. Same thing, other side is next. So I'm just gonna stay in position, ready to switch sides. Here we go. So again, butt reaches back, squeeze. Good job.
doing great. Keep going. Almost there. And there we go. Next one is a standing knee tap twist. So weight's gonna come up to our shoulders. We're gonna bring our knee up to the side, bring it around, bring it around. So twisting is happening from the waist, from the core. Almost like you're doing bicycle abs, bringing that opposite elbow to the knee. Make sure if you get like dizzy, make sure when you look forward, you spot something real quick. It'll help you not feel like a little dizzy or woozy from all that head twisting. And keep those knees going out to the side. Almost there. Good job. Next, we're gonna have shoulder extend, extension, isometric tricep squeeze. So weight's gonna come behind our butt. We turn this way. Squeeze. Good job, guys. So we're getting some mobility through the shoulders. We're really focused on that isometric tricep squeeze at the backs of the arms. You should feel that working. And that stabilization, you might even feel a little bit through the core. Keep going. Almost there. Good job. Next, we're gonna have snatch. So we're gonna do all one side. We're gonna grab it, press it up. So like you're bringing it to your shoulder and then from the shoulder, pressing it to the ceiling, bring it back down and then bringing it all the way down. Good job, guys. Doing good. Keep going. If those last few feel extra challenging, that's good. That means your weight is the right amount of resistance. If it all feels easy, then you're probably ready to amp up the weight. Shake it out, shake it out. Here we go. Good job, keep going. Don't stop. You can do this. Excellent. Almost there. Okay, next we're gonna have curls. I'm gonna go to the 12s. We're gonna alternate elbows, stay stuck at your sides. So no swinging your body together. We're just using the biceps. Breathe. Uh, you can do this. I know it's challenging, it's challenging for me. through 
Almost there, less than 10 seconds. We could push through this one together. Good job. Okay, next we're gonna have cactus. I'm gonna go to my lightest weight, and if I need to, I'm gonna switch to body weight. So we're gonna squeeze the shoulder blades together, keeping the elbows at 90. Squeeze the forearms toward each other. So shoulder blades together, shoulder blades apart. So I want you to think of that scapular gliding or shoulder blade gliding. Breathe, core stays strong. Keep going. Excellent work. Last, less than five seconds. Good job. Next, we're going to have a kneeling wood chopper. So I'm gonna go back to my heavier weight. I'm gonna kneel on one side. We're gonna take it outside of the hip and then up and over. Using those core muscles, controlling the up and downward motion. Good job. We're getting there, guys. Less than five seconds. Good job, same thing, other side. Okay. Twisting into it. doing great. Don't quit. Less than 10 seconds. Almost there. Okay, next we're going to have deadlift, single leg deadlift to knee pass. So what we're gonna do is hold one weight, come up, switch hands with the weight, deadlift. Okay, so here we go. Single leg deadlift, lift it up, get that knee, pass it under, single leg deadlift. Pass it back. Doing good. I know this balance can be a challenge. So if you need to set that foot down in between, you can. Breathe. Almost there. Good job. Same thing, other side. Take it out. We got this, guys. So single leg deadlift, other leg. Bring it forward, switch. Breathe through it. and take some concentration. So I'm probably talking a little bit less than I normally do. Good job.
Almost there, guys. You can do it. Excellent. Okay, last two exercises. We're going to have one knee bent, opposite arm is going to straighten. We're going to do a quarter get up. So we're going to push through that elbow using the core muscles to sit up. Lower, arm stays straight up. Use those core. Breathe through it. Pull the core muscles in. Keep going. Breathe. Breathe. You can get there. I know you can do this. Last few seconds on this side. Good job. We're going to switch sides. So opposite knee bends. Opposite arm is gonna hold the weight up. If this side feels more challenging, your abs just did a lot of work. So just push through and you can do this. Use that core to lift your body up. You can do it. Last exercise, so I know you can push through it. You've made it this far. Getting close. You did it. Okay, guys, so this should be just our 20 second cool down. Let's make sure, yeah, we're good. 10 second cool down, not 20. Activity completed. Yay, yay, yay. Okay guys, so <clears throat> you did an amazing job making it through the end. Quick workout, but challenging. I hope you thought so too. I did. <laughs> like I said, I went through this yesterday with one of my classes. Um, they did amazing going through it. I found it challenging, they found it challenging. So hopefully you do too. Uh, let me know if you had a favorite move or one that you found most challenging. Um, and if you'd like to make a donation to help us stay free, go to patreon.com slash benderfitness. They're getting early access to this and every workout that I post. So I hope you guys are enjoying that. Um, and I will see you soon with a new workout. We have plenty more to come. Okay, guys. See you next time.